Hi there. In this video, I will talk about how you can identify and remove duplicate reports in Python using the Pandas library. So let's go ahead and import the Pandas library first of all. Import Pandas SPD. And uh, I will use the data set which I've been using in so many previous videos, which is a sample superstore sales data containing sales of a superstore. And uh, then after reading it from the Excel file using the function pd.readExcel and storing that sheet into the orders, I am viewing the top two rows. So let's go ahead and execute that. All right, here are my top, top, but the first two rows, what I would, I should really say, first two rows in the data set, because top indicates that top rows by sales or discount. So that's not it is, it is first two rows in the data set all right uh, once we are here uh, we will see that uh, there are there will be a lot of uh, duplicate values so for example uh, multiple customer names are occurring multiple times and uh, similarly let's say product category customer segment and all of those things but sometimes these are necessary and you really don't want to remove that because they actually represent the data which should be there in your data set but let's say for example uh, you don't have a requirement where you know you need the multiple customer names in the data set you just want to have a unique one maybe for some research requirement or something you want to get to know about uh, your data set by looking at the unique customer name or maybe some other for some other reasons you just need the unique values for a particular column so how we can do that we, i'll show you in this video which is pretty straightforward using the methods given in the pandas library so the first thing is looking at the entire data set which is in the object orders and using the method duplicated what it will do that uh, wherever it will identify the duplicate row it will mark it as duplicate and uh, show true or false based on whether it is duplicate or not. So I'll just go ahead and execute this. And here, as you can see, there are a lot of values which are coming and it will go until the end. And by default, it will show that all of them are false. That means there is no duplicate row. That means uh, all the contents in these entire cells. So if I just go up a little bit up and uh, show you, Okay, um, of course it's a little slow. All right, so this entire row is getting compared with this this row, and then it is indicating whether it is a duplicate row or not. All right, so in our case, the good thing is no two rows are duplicated because it is in returning false. Now the next thing is, let's say you want to, if let's say there were some true values inside that because not all the values have been shown. I think first 30 and last 30 values have been shown over here. And uh, as you can see, there will be three dots. All right, okay, here it is. After 29, you have three dots. And so there may be a scenario that you may have a uh, true over here. So let's say how, if you want to know about that, First of first thing is uh, getting the count, how many rows are actually duplicated. So for that, again, orders dot duplicated dot sum. Sum basically true here in the back of this uh, program or, or or this text is uh, indicated by one and false by zero. And sum will sum all the ones, that means the trues and give us how many duplicated rows are there. So if I go ahead and execute that, you will see there are no rows which are duplicated. All right. Now let's go and go a little bit deeper. Let's say, for example, you want to see that in a particular column or a series, how many duplicate values are there. So let's say, for example, orders in customer name, for example, you want to see how many duplicated rows are there. I'll just use some. So there are 7604 values which are duplicated because the same customers are giving you the order, or maybe the order is spread across multiple products, 
and the multiple products are in multiple lines and that's why the customer name is coming and this 7604 is indicating the value that you have number of duplicate customers if you want to filter this data set where all the customer names are coming what you can do is copy this entire piece this previous command and write orders and within that paste it so what it is doing is wherever the true is coming it will filter out the data set by that and since it will be so many rows 7604 so let's see the first two rows so head and two all right here we are having the first two rows which are duplicated so row number two zero one two so basically the row number three and row number six these are the rows which are duplicated over here and if you don't use head you will get the entire data set the next thing is that uh, sometimes there is a requirement that uh, or first of all the default thing is that first row is not removed and if the second row is is duplicated it will be removed or filtered here in this case but there is an argument so if i press shift tab tab you will see that keep first this is a default argument that means keep the first row and if the second row is duplicate then remove that row but there is an option if you go down keep first last and false and by default is first so probably if you want to use the last row in this data set you can use keep is equals to last so in this case since the, we are looking at the last row that we want to keep it you are getting a different set of results apart from this if you want to include all the duplicate rows and no change into the data set and if i press shift tab tab you will see that uh, there is an argument which is false which means that uh, you want to include all the rows duplicate rows all right let's move ahead let's talk about how you can drop the duplicates so for example if i look at the shape of the orders data set there are 8399 rows and 21 columns and similarly if i look at orders dot customer name and its shape you will see that there are 8399 rows as they are indicated in the entire data set there are 8399 customer names so there is no null and all the values are properly populated in that column and since it is a first uh, only column so that's why you don't have a value over here after the comma all right let's say if i want to duplicate uh, remove the duplicate customer name so i'll write dot customer name dot drop underscore duplicate duplicates and let's look at the shape so there are 795 rows which you want uh, which you, you are getting are dropped after you know dropping it you get 795 rows which are of unique customer name there in the data set after that you have in a similar way if you see this command and if i go here and press shift tab tab you will see again a couple of argument first of all the subset subset is similar to that uh, if you want to just use couple of columns so maybe let's say drop underscore duplicate subset and i want to indicate that uh, look at just couple of columns so maybe i don't want to specify it over here i want to specify it over here that look at just customer name or maybe some other column name maybe ship mode so this will subset and look at only these two column names when dropping the duplicates all right and uh, if i show you the other parameter shift tab tab the next parameter is keep is equals to first so as i indicated it earlier that by default it is first but if you want you can trim use the last that means drop the last row because you are dropping the duplicates and if you want you can drop the first row or you can use the false one that means drop all duplicates as it is indicated over here all right and finally 
you have the parameter which is in place is equals to false so what it indicates is uh, whenever you are doing this operation it is not impacting your data set but if you want that whatever operations you are performing on this series getting impacted on your data set you need to use in place is equals to true so whatever changes drop duplicates or anything else you are doing related to this like keep first or subset by indicating in place is equals to true your final data set or the data set that you are using will be having that changes once you finally view it so that's about uh, identifying the duplicates and uh, finally dropping it and I will this is pretty much all I have for you and I'll meet you in the new video the new topic